I've been making content on the internet for a while and because of that people often come to me and ask for advice when it comes to content creation. They ask me about ideas for articles they have or video content ideas because that's kind of what I do. So today what I want to talk about is most common mistakes people make when creating content for the internet. Let's talk about that today. So the first mistake I want to talk about is making one of anything. That is never a good idea. You should never ever plan on making one video, one article or anything like that. People ask me, hey Nikolai, like I'm working on this article. What do you think of this idea? You know, I want to talk about this industry problem. And I go, well, that's a great idea. But what are you doing next? Where is the second article and third? And they're like, oh, no, I'm just working on this one thing and that's it. That's going to be this thing that I'm doing. And I'm trying to explain to them, like, look, this will never work. You need to plan on article two, three, four. What are you going to be talking about next? Now, if you're doing videos, you can do series, right? You can create an uh, idea for maybe five, six, seven videos, write out the ideas, film them, edit them. And then while they go through the process of being posted and so on, you can start coming up ideas for the next series. So this way you post for, you know, maybe a couple of months, then you have a break, then you have a next series of videos. So that's, a, that's not necessarily a bad way to go about it. Consistent schedule is always best, but if you don't have enough material, you can do it in groups. But the main point is don't plan on making one piece of content and expect it to make any difference whatsoever. And the next mistake is asking viewers or content consumers for what content you should create. And I see this with people who start YouTube channels. Right? They say, okay, hi, I'm Bob. I have a YouTube channel now. I made this YouTube channel. So um, now I need you to tell me what content should I create here? Yeah, what topics do you want me to talk about? And I'll create it here. And it's like, what? What are you talking about? You the one with the YouTube channel. You need to come up with your own content, not asking people, what do they want to see? You know, people are going to come up with all kinds of crazy ideas, so most likely they will not say anything at all. You need to have your own plan for your own content that you're actually passionate about, that you want to do. And then you can start doing that. Now, this is not to say you should listen to feedback from your audience. Of course you should. But you should establish yourself with your own content that you actually want to do. And then listen to feedback. Maybe somebody says, oh, I want you to... Uh, focus a little bit on cybersecurity because that is a relevant topic to this. And you could say, oh, that's not a bad idea. Let me add a little bit of that. But your YouTube channel or your article writing or whatever it is you're going to create shouldn't be like you asking your audience what you should do. It should be your ideas that you're going to implement, not someone else. And the next thing may be kind of obvious, but salesy content. If the only thing you're going to do is create content about your product, your service, no one's going to watch that. You're literally selling to people and no one wants to see it. If you want uh, to be heard, if you want people to engage with your content, you need to do what they call thought leadership, where you talk about things you know, you provide an educational content. Now, there's also a debate about whether you should provide educational content and steer people towards your product. Um, I don't know how cool that is. I generally don't like that. I feel like if you're going to sell to me, just sell to me so I know what it is. And if you're going to provide educational content, then provide, you know, give me multiple options. You know, if you're writing about problems with your duplication, give me multiple options with solving that problem. So it's not just your particular application that solves it and no one else can. Um, so sales of content is one way not to have any engagement and completely get, completely lose all your viewers, even if you had any. And finally, not finding your pace. The content creator burnout is a real thing. People try to create more and more content as quickly as possible, and they get burned out. Uh, you have to figure out how often you can produce your, produce your content. If you can do it once per week, fine. Every two weeks, great. Every month, that's also okay. If you can consistently write a really good quality article that's well-researched, in-depth, doesn't sell, just 
gives people really good information. But you can do it only once a month. That's going to be fine. You can have 12 really good articles in a year. And I can pretty much guarantee you people will want to read that and will want to engage with that content. But you need to be honest with yourself as to how much content you can produce in a certain period of time and then stick to that pace. So one decision I had to make for myself is to stop doing Wednesday videos temporarily. Now, I know they're important to my channel and I'm going to continue making them, but for a certain period, I decided to take the time that I was putting into those videos and put them into a different project that I'm working on. And this different project is much more important to me uh, for the immediate future. So I'm going to work on that and then I'm going to go back to doing what my normal schedule was, which is Sunday night and Wednesday videos. But I realized that there is no way I can keep up uh, two video posts per week plus work on this really big project that is super secret for now. So I made a decision that in order to stay sane, not burn myself out, I'm going to take something out of my schedule and replace it with something else. So that's my point is know what you can handle and adjust your content creation schedule accordingly. So those are going to be top content creator mistakes that I wanted to mention. But if you can think of any more, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow on LinkedIn, subscribe on YouTube, and I will see you on another video.